German reinforcements are inbound. We have no choice but to evacuate. We've found enough pilots to fly transport planes out of here, but they're no match for the Luftwaffe. I know you are mourning your friend, but we cannot defend these planes ourselves. I'll do my part. Tommy, how are you holding up? Tommy? Tommy is indisposed, Mademoiselle de Beck. My name is Devereux. René Devereux. I flew with Tommy in the Great War. With Tommy and your father. Another of my father's squadron. Stay sharp.
All transports are safe. Now, Tommy, let's get you out of here. Salud, Didi. Tommy is grateful. In his own way. He is drunk. It is like the old days. Roger, René. Wait. Drinking? Tommy doesn't drink, René. <laughs> the only man I knew who could outdrink Tommy was your father. <laughs> Good times. Fighters inbound. Make ready. Closer than I realized if he's drinking again. And that's not good. You fly like your father. And it seems you have inherited his loyalty as well. Later. Let's discuss my father later. Of course. Follow me. As we fled the core, I found myself alone. Tommy was too deep in his own dark thoughts to offer any illumination. And too drunk to boot. Ivana had moved on, too important to attend to a simple evacuation. And Clive? Clive was dead. Searching for an ally, I approached René Devereux, another of the faces in Tommy's old squadron photograph, another friend of my father's. That he'd ended up with us at Vakor didn't surprise me. War heroes seemed to turn up where they were needed in times of trouble. But I felt foolish going to see him only as we fled as if I couldn't bring myself to talk to him before. I was in no mood to be regaled with more drink-fueled tales of daring do, so René's brusque demeanor suited me just fine. The time for jovial reminiscing was long gone. I suddenly wanted, needed details, answers and facts about my father. It felt as though I was on the brink of a new life, a life without friends, wingmen or guardians. Where I had come from seemed more important than ever before. 